I don't think there is any kind of stress that I won't be able to handle again, like, you know. Like seriously, I don't think I'll be able to ever say that, oh, I have never experienced this level of stress before. After what I have been through in this my life, I am happy that I did this because some people were asking me, oh, do you regret not continuing with the law straight away and what, what, what? No. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is April and you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, that is, of course, if you are returning to my channel. And if you are new here, then check out the videos on my channel page. If you like what you see, then subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. Check out all the videos, you know, leave your comments. Um, it can be your opinion, it can be a question, it can be whatever you want. Uh, my voice is a bit <clears throat> rusty. Yeah, as you can see from the title of today's video, I am going to be talking about what I learned whilst I worked or from working at Unilever. So I do have like about two other videos on my channel about Unilever. If you haven't watched them yet, you should definitely watch them. I'll put the links to them in the description box down below. And if you want to watch them, you can watch them like before you watch this video or you can watch them after you watch this video. It doesn't really matter. So all in all, cumulatively, I worked at Unilever for a little bit over a year. So I was in the personal care, skin cleansing category in the marketing department at Unilever. So I dealt with things like activations, brand building, everything related to that. And I learned a lot, a whole lot whilst working at Unilever. Like I'm so grateful for the experience. I'm so glad that I took that route, that I took that opportunity because I don't think everybody gets the opportunity to work in a company like that. And of course, people value different things. So some people are more for entrepreneurship, you know, someone like me, I'm more of like a corporate girl. Not to say that I'm not um, all in for, you know, people owning their own businesses. So I'm not interested in something like that. I am, but I'm definitely someone who also really likes office work and having a boss and, you know, being under that whole structure structure i never felt like i was being stifled or anything like that and i've never felt that way when working under someone so i don't know like it's definitely a scene where i feel comfortable not everybody does but i definitely do so it was great for me but out of the things that i learned some of them i think might be surprising to maybe a lot of you guys because i was very surprised when i realized some of the things uh, that I realized when I was working at Unilever. So let's get straight into them. The very first one that I would like to say, and I think this is the one that's like, not that it shocked me the most, but that's when I was like, oh, I should have been a bit more serious in math class. So, like, this was actually quite a shock to me, you know, because you're working in marketing, right? You would think that marketing doesn't necessarily involve, like, math. But then, <laughs> the number of times I found myself calculating stuff, and I'm talking about percentages, I'm talking about dealing with fractions, stuff like that, not like advanced math, but definitely some of the things that we learned in like high school math, like I had to go back in my mind, it's not necessarily things that I forgot, but it's not something that I use on a daily basis. And our work is like, okay, you have to calculate like this and that. And sure, you would obviously use a calculator and all that, but then you have to know like the formulas, like you have to know how, how to calculate discounts and stuff like that. It was necessary for some of the briefs that I was writing and a lot of other stuff. Like basically, math was quite a strong feature in my work and i realized that i should have been a little bit more serious in math class in school the thing is you never know when you might need these things because i had no idea i'm a law graduate my whole professional experience has primarily been law related so when i even branched out to marketing and copywriting and stuff i never thought that i would have to use certain skills or certain things that i learned in high school and here i was dealing with math so that was like a okay okay let me just give a side note here i legit don't get people who say oh what is the purpose of math and all of that like obviously it's not literally about the math that you do in school but it's about the fact that math teaches you how to think methodically and logically 
So anyway, that's like me going into another tangent about the importance of school and the classes that you take in school and all that. I'm someone who's like really into school and like I would defend uh, school and everything that is primarily related to it. Uh, not that it doesn't have its disadvantages, but overall, I am a proponent of school. So, and math. Next. So what I realized was that I knew nothing about companies like multinational companies and about like the production of goods so the processes that goods go through by goods I mean products like products that are manufactured by large companies like all the bureaucratic processes that they go through before coming out to consumers and all the things that can go wrong along the way and how they are resolved so the thing is even though I did work like in the marketing department I was exposed to everything else that's related to the production of goods I learned a lot about what takes place in the factory you know the processes that the goods go through to, to get to the wholesalers to the retailers to the consumers to the shoppers and the difference between a consumer and a shopper that's like a whole lot of information and obviously these are not things that you would really know unless maybe you studied it in school or you worked in um, a company right now when it comes to like work ethic what i took away was that i should be taking more initiatives so in the sense that if for example my boss doesn't tell me to do something but then i think that this is the right way to go this is something that i should bring up to her and this is something that i shouldn't just keep to myself like if there's something that can be done uh without direction then definitely it should be done of course not without communication like that's a whole other point that i'll go to but then you shouldn't just be sitting and waiting for directions because it doesn't really show you to be like a proactive person is that it doesn't sometimes it even makes it seem like you're not a team player or you don't have any leadership capabilities so this is just uh, something that i learned on the job uh like speaking up more you know giving my opinions giving suggestions coming up with new ideas you know putting them on the table in that sense but then sometimes to take an initiative in terms of actions like physical things that could be done or can be done uh, of course for the good and not things which are questionable or which could end up going wrong yeah because there is that aspect to it too of course but overall like that's just something that i took away and i think it would really help me in all my other activities and maybe in other jobs that i would also be doing and on communication right <laughs> so this is i should say the most important thing that i learned whilst working at unilever when it comes to communicating with your boss with other stakeholders with your teammates so you know if you're working in a team on a particular project communication with the other team members this i think is just so crucial if the communication is missing or if it's not effective it's like everything just starts going wrong that's what i realized that if let's say one person misunderstands something right then the whole project can just fall apart because that person is maybe has maybe taken an action which is based on a misunderstanding of a particular concept or of a particular direction because it, it wasn't my field right there were a lot of things that i was learning on the go and when i even want to express something i have to really think well how to frame certain things so that they are correct so that i use the correct terminology there were a couple of instances where i said something and then the other person was like hey what do you mean like that that can be it you know maybe you are using the wrong word or maybe your understanding of the word is a bit misplaced and i think like the last thing that i would like to say is <laughs> i learned how to manage stress and i also learned that there are different kinds of stress so there is like one stress when you're in the legal field that's like a whole other ball game right or when you are studying law like when you are working in the legal field or when you are studying law that's like one type of stress and then there is another stress when you are working in a company in a large company where you deal with 
all kinds of people a way you deal with all kinds of situations and some of them they can come up abruptly and you would have to deal with them at any time of the day and at any point in time like because they are urgent you know and they have to be resolved like immediately it's just that there was a lot that i was doing so the thing is i wasn't just working obviously i was also shooting youtube videos and i had like other things on the side so putting all of that together the kind of stress that i was experiencing was completely different from any kind of stress that i have ever experienced before in my life guys i think after law and after this kind of work experience i don't think there is any kind of stress that i won't be able to handle again like, you know like seriously i don't think i'll be able to ever say that oh i have never experienced this level of stress before after what i have been through in this my life i feel like i'm ready to deal with bosses other employees other employers like just give me <laughs> give me anything that you can give me and i'm ready to like take it on so i'm just overall truly grateful for this experience this has been a fantastic experience for me and i predicted that i would learn a lot and that i would be able to sort of expand on my background you know when it's just law that you know in my opinion you are disadvantaged as compared to other people who for example already have a degree in something else before continuing to study law or they have work experience in something else and law as well so i feel like this is a great contribution to me as a person and to my personal and professional life overall i enjoyed my experience at unilever and we've come to the end of this video so thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it definitely give it a thumbs up like this video and of course leave a comment you can ask a question you can just comment on anything uh, related to this video even in relation to my other videos so anything that you want basically and of course check out the other videos on my channel page and i hope i'll see you in another video but today it's just uh goodbye